Canis aureus, the golden jackal. But its range has recently expanded up north into Europe. It is making a big comeback and a lot of noise in the media, in the hunters community, as it moves through Europe at a very fast pace. Due to the extirpation and almost extinction of the wolf on much of the European landscape, the golden jackal has found it very easy to travel along and has become very well adapted. Think of it almost as the coyote of Europe. Unwanted, as unliked, predator control. And a badger, jackal, 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 jackal. I think that's the smallest one. That's the biggest one. There's a whole lot of personal data, personal information that we could gather from this little population. In my case, it's for osteology. Uh, so, well, this is gonna be it, right, for the day. Skinning, flens and gutting, and all shades in between. Hey, that's a jackal's head. Temporalis masseter digastric muscles. Canid, carnassial complex. Bugs have very developed Premolars, but they're very blade-like. Allow the jackal to be a really efficient little carnivore and on the land. Analogous. Thanks. So I was very interested in jackals when I first came to um, Hungary. I knew that there were a thing, they were immigrating across Europe because of the extirpation of the wolf. You know, and, and this is something I've wanted to accomplish. I saw the dire wolf diorama in the La Brea Tar Pits and I thought, why, why couldn't I do that with jackal skeletons? It's kind of unavoidable, the dirtiness of the project, of the process, I suppose, you know. But I feel like the knowledge and the understanding of bones, in my view, ennobles this process. It's ultimately going to have a lot of value for people. I don't want to take this lightly, but I hope that the whitening and the putting together, putting back together of the symmetry of life offer up a greater understanding to the world of uh, our relationship with wildlife, specifically carnivores, which we seem to be very much at odds with. And uh, I see it very much part of an evolving consciousness revolving around animals, revolving around wildlife and our, our understanding and our connection with it.